Hey, today my godbrother Jared came and picked up the Buddha. Claire, I know you know already or have heard, but I know you like the story and I haven't really told many people about it, so I thought it would be fun. So once upon a time, my dad had a best friend and his name was Michael. And Michael had two sons, Hayden and Jared. My dad was named Godfather of Hayden. Maybe Jared too, I'm not actually sure. My mom and dad moved into this house before I was born. At some point between them moving in here and me starting to have memory, one day Hayden and Jared got high and were driving around and they ended up stealing a Buddha from the outside of a Chinese restaurant. They were driving around with the Buddha in the back of this car. And they realized that they could not keep driving around with a Buddha in the back of the car. They were going to get caught. And so they were like, oh, let's call the cool adult we know. Let's call Larry. Call my dad. And my dad was like, yeah, come on over. They put it in the garage. And then they promptly forgot about it. My dad, however, decorated our dining room to go with the Buddha. So we have had this Buddha sitting in our dining room for my entire life, probably. I mean, there was a brief period of time where it was moved to my parents' room. But then they got moved back to the dining room. Hayden and Jared had completely forgotten about it. A few years ago, I was probably around 16, Hayden died. And one day, Jared came over and my dad told him the story about the Buddha. He had completely forgotten, but as my dad was telling him, he was starting to remember. My dad told him, like, if you want it, you can have it but he didn't have anywhere for it to go. My dad died a little less than two years ago. He actually put in his will that it was to go to Jared. Of course, Jared didn't have anywhere to take it to, so he put it off, but today I found out that he finally moved into his own apartment, and so he's got his own space. He stopped by and picked up the Buddha with a friend, threw it in the back of his car and drove off with it. He said that if he could remember what Chinese restaurant it was, if it was still open, he would go back and return it and apologize for stealing it. 